Hey guys, Michael Cranfield here. Today I'm going to show you one of the moves you can do with the S1A3 Shark Slider with the Motion Control Bundle. And it's called the Parallax Move. So the idea of this move is that you focus the camera at the A point and you focus that camera on your subject. And in this case, it's my beautiful assistant Shona. And then you record a move, it travels down the slider and whilst it's traveling along the slider, you'll find that Shona, my assistant, will stay dead center in frame. So let's see how we set up this move. Here's how we record our parallax move. So at the moment we're in manual, so I come on down to record mode. I hit enter. Now I'm gonna record this mode on route number one, which of course you'll remember is one of nine routes available, which is very, very handy. We hit enter. And now I have, I'm going to record the move, but I must remember to take the carriage back to the A point. At the moment, it's, it's sitting just about in the middle and I don't want it there. So I'm gonna take it all the way back to A. I'm going to frame Shona so that she's in the middle of frame. Oh, a bit more there. Okay, I'm happy with that. And now I'm gonna hit record. Number one will be overwritten. Yes, all good. Now it's recording. I slide the carriage all the way down to the end. It will stop. Now I readjust the camera so that Shona is again in the middle of frame. Back a little, about there. I then rotate around to make sure that Shona stays in the middle of frame. And there she is there. And I hit stop. So we exit out of the record mode and we move to the auto mode. So I hit auto. Route one was the, the route we just recorded our move on. I hit next. Now I'm gonna go for an ABA mode move. That means that the camera was gonna start at point A, travel all the way down the rails to B, and then come back to A again. Hit next. Now, I don't want, I, I think that that run time is a little bit too long, so I'm gonna bring that down to 12 seconds. There we go. I've also, you can see, I've put a 1.5 second fade in and a 1.2 second fade out. So this is a ramp in, ramp out um, selection that you can input into your move so that when the camera reaches the end of, it, of the move, it doesn't jerk the camera and you don't get the shake in the camera. It just slows down nice and slowly and then begins its next traveling, travel move. So I'm gonna use the circle run. And what that will do is that will send the carriage backwards and forwards up and down the rail until I choose to stop it. And I really find this handy for doing interviews. So I'm gonna go next. So I wanna to go to quick back. And that will take the camera back to the A position. And you'll notice that Shona is nicely in the center of frame. And now we wanna go circle run, next, and we're away. And the camera will just keep going backwards and forwards until I tell it to stop. So you'll notice as the carriage travels down the, the, the rail, Shona stays smack bang in the middle of frame. And now it'll slow down nicely before it hits the end. Lovely. Slow start up so you don't get a jerk at the end or at the beginning. So when you're setting up your, your slider, it's very important to make sure that it's nice and stable. So my setup today is the Komodo K5 head just on a generic tripod. And on this end for extra support, I'm using my Cobra Strike monopod, the A150. On the other end, I'm just using a generic lighting stand just to help with the stability. Stability is everything when you're doing these types of images. And that, my friends, is how you set up the parallax move on the S1A3 motion control bundle from my footage. One of the beautiful things about this as well is that you can use these re recorded moves for a time lapse or for video vision, it doesn't matter. And in a couple of weeks time, I'll be posting up on, on my site a time lapse that I've done using a combination of the video parallax move and a time lapse of exactly the same parallax move. Just keep an eye out for that, www.michaelcranfield.com.